Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mia Games Tycoon 2, another edition of my Let's Play, where I'm going to be focused on consoles. So, console development is 87% done. So, after that, uh, there's probably a couple other things I need to research first, and then we're going to actually make a console. I'll have to buy this property, which is 7 million, ah, I got 15 million in the bank, that's fine. So that I have room to make a console development room, well, that'll be down here. Uh, and then I'm going to get into self-publishing soon as well. I really hope to get at least another half star before then, though. So we're currently making Transport King. This is a racing game. Transportation, which is the trend racing game. Um, all my support rooms are also working on that. Marketing is currently not doing anything. So they are going to market Transport King. Get that up to 40 hype at least. Secondary development team is not doing anything at the moment. Uh, what kind of game am I going to make next? I'm pretty sure just did an RPG. We could do another adventure, probably. Adventure is the trend and is for another 28 weeks. Everything is saturated right now. There is strategy, but I need to research it first. So let's just, I'm pretty sure my adventure engine's up to date. I don't think I need to update that. No. All right. So what about game updates up here? Let's do a game update, a pre-update. Or Fancy Quest 3. It's selling pretty good. Rock the Puzzle 3 is, though. That's the one. It's it's really rocking it right now. It's living up to its name. All right, so I think I can take it off pause. Okay, so that marketing is done. So let's do a radio spot. That'll get us to 25, or to 40, sorry, from 25. All right, so banking crisis, double interest. That is fine. I do not have any loans. Um, we're going to polish this up. We're going to get rid of the bugs. We're going to market it a little more. And then we'll ship it out. Like I said, we're going to do those things I said. Turbo mode, which is a console thing. All right, so let's do a free update. Let's do another one for Rock the Puzzle 3, since that is currently my best-selling game. Question, is it the best-selling game right now? It is. I have three of the top five. It's good. I like that. I like that. That's good. I'm happy with that. All right, so special marketing. Four. Transport King beta demo and a pre-release for the press. Once those are done and we get the results, we will ship it. Hopefully, I'm hoping that it's, you know, close to 90. All right, so let's do a free update for Breath of the Dragon. Keep sales for that strong. Um, the, the awards are coming up. Hopefully I win some. I think that might get me an extra half star if I do. Um, and then holiday season, which will get me a bunch of extra sales, which is nice. And console development is almost done. So finished development. And over to Teidu. We are an exclusive contract with them for another 12 months. That might end at like just the perfect time. I might not even have to pay much to get out of that contract. So it might be it might be ending at the perfect time. Like I'm gonna have my own publishing, self-publishing at that point, I think. Maybe. We'll see. 87. I'm happy with 87. I would have liked 90, but hey, 87 is fine. All right, so adventure game, Alien Quest 3. Is it too early for Alien Quest 3? How much uh, IP value does it have? Oh, it doesn't have much IP value anyway. Yeah, you know what, though? I am going to do Alien Quest 3. Not going to do Fantasy Quest. That one's almost new. All right, so yeah, Alien Quest 3. So when it comes out, the sales of this will drop. But at that point, it should be near the end of its life cycle anyway. Well, is aliens? Oh, aliens doesn't even work for this. So let's uh, let's add space as well. Maybe that'll help. Do I have space? Or spaceships? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. Hopefully that works. If that one doesn't work as well, then we're in trouble. All right. So we'll just go with the standard consoles that I've been going with. I'm looking forward to when I can just put them on my own consoles and be done with it. All right, so these ones are all locked in. These sliders are not, so let's just continue moving them until eventually we're going to find the right spot, right? Turn on the five features that, that matter. Beautiful. All right, so quickly. Okay, so this is sound. Obviously, we're just going to do sound. All right, so here. Let's quickly do a game report for Transport King. I got to remember that they're doing that, though, and they're not improving the gameplay. <laughs> so that when the time comes, I switch them over to improving the gameplay. Um, Transport King could use a demo, Fantasy Quest 3, um, Alien Quest, no, not Alien Quest 3, that's 
that's the game you're currently developing. You know, you don't want to put a demo out for that yet, Looch. No, you do not. All right, so there we go. Approve gameplay. And over here, let's blast through this commission work, get this done. Um, can I hire anybody for this room? Any other programmer? A eh, programmer that's an all-rounder. What about a game designer? We want primarily game designers and or programmers in here. Lucky and good at sequels. And this other one's efficient. Okay, they're both hired. There you go. So now we're at 9 of 10 in there, so that's good. We'll save space. We'll leave that space open in case like a legendary comes available, right? Wait, this game is done already. We just I feel like I just started it. God games, you make games so fast. Alright, so my research team is currently unoccupied. I need to fix that. Let's do a demo for Transport King. Alright. Um obviously I want to do the console stuff, but let's get the strategy first. And then the game features, and then we'll get on to the console stuff. Right? I think that's the play. I think that's the smart play here. How is my new game selling? Transport King, it's selling okay. All right, so I won some awards. I'm at two stars now. Basically swept the awards. Perfect. All right. Um, and I also got new graphics I need to research. Probably do that next. All right, so let's do demo. Pre-release for the press, get it out. I'm now an ordinary game developer. Someday I will be an extraordinary game developer. I promise. All right, so. Um, do I want to make my next game strategy? It's probably like super not saturated, right? Because it's relatively new. Although it's not super new. Ooh, Breath of the Dragon is selling really well. Well, everything's selling pretty good right now, right? Because it's the holiday season. Yeah, I'm going to wait till strategy's done to put this game in. We'll just polish it up. And we will also do an engine. Ooh, no, wait. I want to get the new engine feature first. So in the meantime, let's do another rock puzzle update. Yeah, it's selling well still. Although these updates are starting to get to be more expensive. <laughs> oh, oh, I know what I need to do. All right, so... Buy this property. Let's throw in a lounge and a toilets. Turn on auto furniture. All right, there's my lounge and a toilets. Perfect. Um, let's remember to put a cleaning robot in. Cause I hate when I forget to do that and I do it way too often. And Console development. This is going to be a large room. I want to have a lot of people in here. Not like not that not that large, but <laughs> actually, you know what? Um, let's go a little smaller. We need a hall down the middle, right? So this is fifteen wide. So we'll go seven here. Um. Wait, is that seven? Oh, the middle's the door is not in the middle. <laughs> That's the confusing part. You would think this door would be in the middle, but it's not. Because this is the middle here. So we can have this room here. We can do a room mirrored it across the hall, and then have a room down at the bottom as well. I figure this should be enough seats. Oh yeah. Alright, and we need people. So let's search for some people. Um, we're looking for technicians. We want them to be um efficient faster and we're just gonna go with basic ones right now we don't need fancy ones but i'm not, i can't make a console yet well i mean i can but i don't want to make a console yet i want it to be a little better should i just send this out or should i keep polishing i now want to research the other console stuff before I, before I start working on my console right All right, speaking of the devil, all right, let's get this gameplay feature as well. All right, so let's get this strategy engine, new engine, primitive 2D block graphics. Let's go. Four, strategy, four. Now we'll go tapple, but eventually it's going to be for mine. Next time we update it, not for sale. My engines are not for sale, folks. All right, so once that's done, then we will start. 
on a new game. But I want to get, I want, I want it to be a strategy game. All right, so they're done. So we can put this out, finish development. Hand over to Teidu. 11 more months on that. How good? Oh, two and a half star studio. Okay, that's good. So I do, ooh, 88%, that's solid. I do feel okay self-publishing now. All right, so develop a game. Do I want to do a spin-off for my strategy game? Rockstar strategy game? Uh, for some reason, I doubt Rockstars will go with strategy. So you know what? Let's just do a fresh IP. Every now and then, it's good to do a fresh IP, right? Um, what do we got that would work for strategy? You do the old industrialization. We have and factories, right? I did this in my last run, this exact combination, but I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to call this Satisfactorio. Why not? This will be for adults and strategy engine. Where are you? Right there at the bottom. Tapple, Terry, Astro Arcade, Commander Pete. Got the new graphics. First time, first game with those. That is fine. Do not know where to put those sliders, so I will just not touch them. <laughs> password saves. This will be the first game with password saves. And of course, let's make it better. Do a quick game report here though first. Yeah, remember they're doing a game report though, right? All right, so let's stop looking for technicians briefly. So we can, uh, eh, do I want them? They're unlucky. So we can market Satisfactorio a bit. Got to get it up a bit, right? We can't have one hype. One hype's just not acceptable. All right, so we're good on research. We can actually research console stuff now. So we got Case for handheld, case for stationary. I don't really care about case for the handheld right now because I'm going to be making the stationary first, right? Um, and what are they doing? Okay, so they're already done in that game report, so they can switch to that. What are we doing here? Free update for Alien Quest 3. Day one patch, basically. And away we go. So yeah, so... I'll be starting my console this episode, but I doubt I'll be releasing it, which is fine. But yeah, ooh, only 60 to 80. Yeah, there's a bunch of bugs and stuff. And yeah, that's fine. We'll get that up. That'll be higher by the time it's done. By the time it's ready to go out. Um, so what kind of game are we going to make after this strategy game? Trend is a trend for 19 more weeks. So we're going to have a strategy here. So we can do puzzle. Or let's do role playing first. And then we'll do puzzle. So those engines both need to be updated then, right? So RPG first. Rainbow 2D block graphics. Let's go. All right. Uh, this still needs to be marketed. And then we need, need to do the pre release special marketing stuff. Any miss work or anything down here? I'd like to put them in training, but I don't have the training room yet. I should probably unlock the training room. Um, actually, let's do demo. No, let's do sets. Let's get this stuff out first. Get this game out. All right, so let's update that other engine as well. I mean, it's just one feature. It should be really, really quick to update, right? Stay on top of these engines, preferably. Pre-release for press. All right, so they're working on the cartridge stuff now. All right, so let's put you back on looking for the technicians. We're going to be a little picky this time. We're going to go 50 to 55 skill. Um, so we it might take a little longer, right? We're not going to fill it at the pace we were filling it earlier. Is there any technicians on the market? There is not. Not by a long shot. Is there any legendaries? There is not. All right, so they're working on the cartridge thing. Um, all this for one more week. What do we want to put an update for? What's still selling well? Rock the Puzzle still selling fairly well. I also pay a quest three. We only did one update for that. The more updates that you do, the more expensive they get, right? All right, so this can go out 70 to 90. Uh, I just, I'd like to get more games over 90, right? I mean, it's going to be fine. It's probably going to be over 85. Oh, this is my first strategy game. Never mind. 
If this is over 80, I'll be happy. I forgot this was my first strategy game. It's the first strategy game in the market. Yeah, I don't, 85? I'm thrilled. The first strategy game? I have no idea where to put the, no idea where to put the sliders, right? I didn't even move them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thrilled with that. So now, RPG I said, right? Uh, we do a sequel. Breath of the Dragon is still on the market. Which era fantasy? Which era fantasy is not on the market, right? We could do that. It does have a decent uh, IP value. Which era fantasy 2. Uh, RPG engine. The usuals. And you know what? Even if one of these dev kits would have made sense to buy, I'm not buying any dev kits because I'm going to be Putting them out on my console exclusively very soon. All right, so let's look at, let's do what we did. What was the last RPG? Breath of the Dragon. So let's copy those, copy those settings. Okay, so this stuff is still wrong. So let's move it further in the direction that we were currently moving it. Everything else looks good. Okay, turn on everything here, nine of 10. So we will have to start making B plus games soon. Other that are cut features, right? I don't like cutting features generally. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. All right, it depends. Really depends on the game. All right, so let's make this game good. They're working on a game report right now, though. And that is fine. Uh, Transport King selling well enough. Yeah, we can do another one more. It's not selling all that hot, but that's okay. We can do one more. All right, so there's that. Game report is done, so we can improve gameplay now. All right, so Diane Zahn is an efficient technician. All right, let's look up here. So case for handheld, we don't care about that. It's, gr it's great that they're working on it, but we're not making a handheld, so we don't really care, <laughs> right? So basically we all, for most of these, we're not even gonna have an option. I think this cartridge is the only thing that we actually have an option. And it's not really much of an option. <laughs> So this is a very basic, very, very basic console, but we'll be able to upgrade it later. That's one of the new features. You can upgrade a console. So we will call this Lucera Vision. Play on ColecoVision, obviously, but that's fine. Uh, no, okay, so no predecessor model, obviously, because this is our first one. So let's read this tooltip. A successful predecessor console can have a positive effect on sales figures, okay. So is that, hmm, is this predecessor though, is that? Oh, I'll figure out when I get there. All right, so case for console two, controller. Let's put two controllers in there. We only have the one option for controller, for game. Okay, so let's put these by re review result. Rock the Puzzle 3 is my best game. So let's throw that in there. Uh, internet capability is not yet available. Backward compatibility is not yet available. I mean, obviously, <laughs> my first console there's nothing to put it backward and none of these features are available yet but we can add these on the fly which we're going to right once we research them we're gonna just get this handheld case out of the way first is there any technicians on the market there's not maybe I should go back to just filling the room right I had been kind of ooh, 55 bugs I've been looking for you know better ones Let's dial it back and just get the room full, right? It's at 8 of 20 right now. I would rather, I mean, it doesn't need to be 20 of 20, but you got to get that number up. Yeah, no, that one doesn't take breaks or go to the bathroom. So that's a win. Terra Racing is off the market. Made a cool $4.4 million. Jonko, Jahan Bazi, welcome aboard. All right, so that case is almost done. Um... Continue development just briefly. Okay, so let's let's come off of this for a sec. Um, up here, I already updated the other engine that I want to do. So let's just bang through this commission work real quick. Oh wow, for the whole ten thousand um, dollars. All right, and let's end automation here as well. Let's this let's get the queue, the uh, customer support queue down. I'm gonna to need to market this console at some point as well. Got a lot going on right now. 
All right, so special marketing for Lucera Fantasy 2. Briefly. And then we'll go back to console room stuff, right? Boom. Pre release for the press. Let's get that done. Up here, let's do an update for Satisfactorio. It has not had an update yet. It's selling pretty well. I mean, it is the only strategy game in the market. All right, so let's get these console features. So we will, we're going to apply through these and we can add these unless it changed. It may have changed in the patch and I may have regrets, but I should be able to add these on the fly as I, as I get them. So let's get like two more people in here. Ooh, that's a lot of negatives. Pass. <laughs> Pass on you. That's better. That's more like it. Okay, so we can ship that game out now. All right, and we can stop this. Ship you. Ooh, 80 to 100. Nice. Nice. That's good. That's obviously. Ooh, 95. That is my best game yet, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. All right, so develop a new game. Um, puzzle, right? Um, Rock the Puzzle 3. How's Rock the Puzzle 2 doing? Or 4? Uh, I don't want to do that yet. I, um, I guess I could do Factoria 2. Oops. Factoria. Oh, that's not how you spell it. There we go. 2. Sure. Puzzle Engine. Exclusive. For the Luchera Vision. Ah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> um, everything looks good there. Put that there. Oh, that's not fair enough either. Wait, is that the direction we want to go? Rock the Puzzle 3. It's too hard. We want to go this way. Okay, perfect. And turn on everything. 9 of 10. Okay, 35 pipe. That is good. Let's do the game report first. High quality graphics and some high quality sound coming in hot. Um, this team is currently unoccupied. So let's do an update to Wheelchair Fantasy. Deuce. Dose. Okay, so they're getting that. One more person there, 17 and 20k. So now we got to market my game console. We're going to do it the most financially efficient way. There's faster ways to do it. This is the most financially efficient. So basically, well, let's look at it. I'll talk about it. So you can do this. You do this three times to get to 15. Then this to 25. This to 40. Then you do two TV spots. So it's one point, a little over 1.1 million, right? It's like 1.1005. <laughs> um, alternatively, you can do one game magazine and then three TV spots. That's a little easier. Like it's less busy work for you or me, whatever you want to call it. But it's also an extra almost $500,000, right? So yeah, we're doing it the, the financially efficient way because I, I'm not that rich yet that I can afford to be tossing money around. And I forgot to put them on improved gameplay. So we're gonna have to... <laughs> Gonna have to work on that a bit. All right, so what engines are not up to date? Racing is not up to date. Let's change that. Although I probably shouldn't, if my engines aren't for sale, I should probably not update them unless I'm actually gonna use them, right? All right, so Chair Fantasy 2. Okay, so they're done with all that stuff. So self-production is the next big thing I need. Continue development on that. Okay, so console features. So we can add these features as we go. Perfect. So that'll make it's gonna take longer. All right, so let's take a break from the console marketing for a minute and do the pre-release stuff for Factoria 2 here. Beta demo, pre-release with press. Okay, that was a good demo. And then back to this console so we need to do two tv spots that's a million bucks that's not cheap it's a lot of money at this point in the game but it'll be worth it all right so commission work here sure uh wait till the end of the week okay get that result 
finish development, hand it over to Tadu. Seven more weeks, which is perfect, because I will be capable of cell production at that point. Should be. Oh, I can't release this. Um, so forget. How do I do this? Um, there's a way. Isn't there a way to this button? Maybe no. Move room. I thought there's a way to just put it aside and work on something else. Right here, maybe. Yes. Complete development and release product at a later date. Perfect. All right, so we got one game ready to go, right? For when Luchera Vision is ready. So now we're going to do another one. We are going to make a... We just, we have a puzzle game. <laughs> we have a puzzle game ready. Um, skill game is the anti-trend, but the trend is about to change. So let's make a skill game. But my skill engine is not up to date, so let's quickly update that here. It's just, it'll be really fast with this many people at one feature. The chair vision, that's important since it's, everything's going to be exclusive now. All right, so sequel, skill, uh, Puckman 2. Oh, yeah, Puckman has one IP. So it'll be Puckman 3 here. I will have to do a Miss Puckman at some point as well, obviously. Goes without saying. Skill engine. Exclusive game for the Luchera Vision. Let's go. Perfect. All right, so that needs to go all the way to 10. That needs to go all the way down to 1. Other than those, though, we got everything locked in. Eh, I'm not sure about these, so let's take a look at the game report for Puckman 2 here. So it needs to be 40, 10, 10, 40. So no, we want something like that. Yeah, that works. That works for me. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a good game. This one's going to be over 90. I have faith. Of course, we're not going to be able to release it <laughs> until the console's ready. That's fine. Oh, we're on top of the... Oh, yeah, we didn't release that game. Can't do a game report if you didn't actually release the game, Looch. That's a key. Oh, yeah, and switch over to customer support here. How long have they been sitting idle? That's... That's MB. That's my bad. Um, yeah. So let's take this off automation. Let's we'll do one with Cherivision, and then we'll switch over to like the special marketing for this probably. Ooh, I don't remember seeing this before. This in queue thing. Ah, uh, the Cherivision is coming. The Cherivision is coming. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join my Discord. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Shout out to my patrons. Couldn't do it without them. Uh, links in the description down below if you do want to support me. Most importantly, though, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.